Hi Tamers! Temtem's Arbory update has brought a ton of changes, one of the biggest ones being an increase to the level cap, which is now 100. It can be a bit difficult reaching this cap using old methods like the Oshira Earth Shrine method found in my previous leveling guide. But luckily, there's a new method that should help expedite the process of maxing out our favorite Thames. It involves the new Melee Shrine, located north of Properton in Arbory, but in order to access the shrine, you will first have to beat the main story quest, and then defeat the Shrine Guardians with a team of only Melee Thames. There are four Shrine Guardians, each with a team of all Melee Thames of their own. Putting melee digital tems like Monko and melee Chromion, as well as the melee mental Maoala on your team will give you an easy time clearing it. Once you have access to the shrine, you can start grinding on the level 100 Brock Golems that spawn there. These tems are nature and melee, and our goal is to knock them out in one hit for maximum XP gains for time spent. The easiest and most consistent method is with two Synergy Master Fire Koishes using Lava Wave. Even imperfect Fire Koishes are able to one hit KO the Brock Golems no problem, as long as you give them 500 attack and speed TVs. Also, using the gear fire chip and war drum can help with KOing them at early levels. Getting this set up is pretty easy. If you don't have two fire koishas, you can catch them in this pool of water in Ulterior Omninesia. The encounter rate is a little on the low side, but once you get two with the Synergy Master trait, you're good to go. The best way to TV train them is as follows. Take them here in Zolot Reservoir and defeat Mushis and Orphils until they both have 500 speed TVs, and then bring them to the Earth Shrine and defeat Osakais to get them 500 attack TVs and some decent levels. If you have a Hurry War Oshera, you can use the method in this video to make the Osakai grind process faster. Once your Koishas are TV trained, take them to the Melee Shrine and start spamming Lava Wave. They don't even need to be level 100 themselves to knock out the Brock Holums in one hit, it just gets more consistent as their level goes up. These are some top tier EXP gains. Now that we have our Koishas set up, there are a couple extra things you can do to increase the speed of your grind further. After completing the main quest, you can return to the Rider in Omninesia and complete the Travel Rider quest line to obtain the Coward's Blanket, a team-wide, toggleable EXP share. This lets you split the EXP with your whole team while your Fire Koishas do all the work. There's also Ignoramus Cloak, which you can get from the Hunt for Captain Malika questline. This is started in the Amethyst Barrens. The holder receives no EXP from encounters. This seems counterintuitive at first glance, but if you put it on one of your Koishas, it will cause the rest of your party to receive more EXP, splitting it five ways instead of six. Once Koish is level 100, it no longer needs Fire Chip or War Drum to one-shot the Brock Olum, so might as well boost your gains with this gear. And finally, if you're trying to level a bunch of Thames as quickly as possible, you can use a learning aid. It's a consumable item you can find in loot pools. It will double your XP gains for the next 30 minutes. Just make sure you use those 30 minutes wisely to maximize your efficiency. And that's the fastest leveling method for Arbory. There won't be any more level cap increases in Temtem, so it looks like this will be the fastest method for the foreseeable future. If a faster method for leveling is discovered, I'll make a follow-up video to make sure you guys have the most accurate information available. Thanks for watching! My name is Blunk, and I make Temtem content here on YouTube, and I also stream on Twitch. If you like this video, thanks! Stay tuned for more, and have a nice day!